Hello everyone, my name is Heather Proudstorm and today I am accompanied by my two best friends, Kate Catbear and Abby Lionfoot. Okay. <laughs> this filter. Ew. Okay. So today we'll be exploring the wild woods. So let's get started. Okay. <laughs> Let's get started. Oh my good luck. <laughs> so, I redeemed the code for warrior. Kate redeemed the code for forester. And I, re and um, I, but I already said I and Abby redeemed the one for Mystic these tracks don't look like any of the ranger rangers horses tracks spooky let's go prince being wacky these tracks don't look like any of the rangers horses tracks let's follow him oh god is it gonna be a race Why did he bring us here? I think he wants me to help him. Okay, how do we help? Oh, I have to dismount. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Follow this path, Prince. Oh, let me get on my heart. Oh my god. Oh, way cool, indeed. Wait for us. Oh god. I end up being stuck. <laughs> Be back. Oh wow. This is so pretty. Rebounce. 
Welcome. What's up with that strange furless squirrel on your back? They look a little big to be a squirrel, don't they? Where are my manners? I'm Rosemary, and these little ones are sapling, sapling and sprout. Welcome to the wild woods. These parts are home to three Yervik wild herds. Long ago, we used to be one, but generations of bickering divided us. Now we live separately with our own distant cultures and beliefs. Me and the foals are a part of the forester herd. Uh, okay. Thanks for the warm welcome. Gah! The squirrel can talk. The squirrels talk? Hold on a second. You're not a squirrel, are you? You're not a squirrel. You're a... A... A human! What's a human? I... Here let the, the squirrel without a tail, but the look is a bit. Sorry for our shock. We just don't get many of our kind out here. Wait. We just don't get many of your kind out here. We were all starting to think you were mythical beings. With gaggling legs and five pointy hooves and three heads. Sapling, that's no way to speak to a visitor. The foals are still learning their manners, as you can tell. What are your what are your names? I'm Heather, and this is Prince. Why am I way over here? Well, it's lovely to meet you, Prince and Heather, and you can even understand us. You must be like the old bearded one. <coughs> oh, beard. You must have traveled here all the way from the gray world. You know, outside the wild woods. I have a friend who went there once, wandering the endless gray rock paths, surrounded by towering blocks. Sounds like an interesting place to go. It seems like you can be trusted, though. If the Lugnos walked up, walked you up here, he barely interacts with us, let alone a stranger. I'm not sure what he sees in you yet. Though, a human, hmm. This is Nicker Valley. The land here belongs to the forester herd, and this is where we frolic freely and embrace our way of life. Here is where I teach Sapling and Sprout all they need to know about being a forester. Today we have been collecting and learning about the pretty flowers in the world, in the whole entire forest. We certainly have been petal, but I've told you before, you've got to stop eating the flowers. Go ahead, Heather, introduce yourself to the rest of the herd. We don't bite. Except for the squirrels. Sapling, what did I tell you about making comments about others? Anyway, across the water is Tailtop Village. Where the three herds live and trade in re relative harmony. The other herds are very different to us foresters, but in many ways we're just the same. That's because there's something that unites us. The central tree. The giant tree at the heart of the wild woods. You can't miss it. Watch out! Oh, f fudge. <clears throat> what do we have here? A saddle broken and it's human? You lot, would, you lot would do well to go back to your stables and chew on dry grass. Here we rule without reins. You've been warned. Rude. 
I'm sorry you had to hear that. Ash is only looking out for the herds. She's a part of the warriors. And the herd can be a little cold to newcomers. I'm sure she'll come around. Your man must come. Yeah, Ash and her herd are bullies. They always tromping on our flower beds with their silly races. Anyway, there's no need to let Ash's antics ruin your day. You should go ahead and meet the rush of the rush. The rest of the foresters. This isn't all of us. We live all around this wonderful forest. Have fun meeting some more of us. Come back to us when you're done. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. That's rocks. <sighs> okay. Wow. Oh. Oh dear. Judging by the cracked hooves and wild untamed hair you're in desperate need of a spa treatment lucky for you you've come to the right place welcome to the polished hoof spa founded and owned and managed by yourself truly wait by yours truly but back to your treatment that would be a hoof soak followed by a main deep conditioning and finished with a mud bath and seeing as you're new around here, I'll let you in on a deal. You can have the VIP package for a total of three flowers instead of six. What do you say? Ready to hop into that mud bath? Um, absolutely. Well, it was nice speaking to you, but... My paying customers need their hot stone massages now. Good luck with, well, everything. Ugh. So. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm gonna make a part two of this so I, so it doesn't get way too long. So, I'll be back with you guys shortly. Bye.